In this video, I want to ask you, what makes Superman so effective? Now, Superman is a fictive character, we know that. And this entity plays the role of Clark Kent in his daily life. So people, and that means, that means common people, don't see who he really is and what he's capable of. Because he knows very well that commoners cannot be trusted knowing what you're capable of. Now, what makes him so effective? As Clark Kent, he works as a journalist. So, he uses his skills to pick up where crime is happening and when he finds out that something is off, he goes into it to see what's happening. And when he sees that indeed evil is going on, he takes action. He does not arrive after the fact happened. He arrives right on time, often before the crime happens. And the perpetrators aren't even aware he's around. That's how fast Superman is. What can we learn from this pagan character? To be effective, you ought to be alert. Being alert and being diligent in acting. When you know something, those two things are very important to be effective in anything you're doing. But above this, the main strength of Superman is not that he can fly, not that he can endure big hardship and all of that, the main strength of Superman is that he knows how to keep himself hidden from those who are not worthy to know who he really is. That is his strength. As a believer in daily life, sometimes you need to act like Superman. I'm not talking about wearing a cape and flying, I'm talking about the attitude. You need to learn to keep yourself hidden from those who are not worthy to know how anointed you are. Because having the wrong type of attention is the same as being on a psychic attack. Let me repeat that. Having the wrong type of attention from the wrong people is the same as being under a psychic attack. So, there are times you just don't show what you're capable of. The world tells you to prove yourself, so people take you seriously. Christ tells you to do otherwise. Christ tells you to shake dust off your feet. Christ tells you not to seek the praise of men. It's natural for you, a human being, to enjoy the praise of men. There's nothing wrong with that. But Christ tells you not to seek the praise of men because you have the tendency to cling onto the praise of men. And to receive the praise of men, you need to prove yourself. You need to benefit them. And before you know it, those people have a grip on you. Now you're in bondage. Superman is smart in the sense that he prevents people from getting a grip on them. He prevents himself being trapped by other people's expectations because he knows very well how dangerous those commoners will become when they are frustrated and disappointed. So, learn this from Superman. Keep yourself hidden from those who are not worthy to know who you really are in Christ. Which implies that there are times you just walk away from situations instead of dealing with them, even if you know how to deal with them and you would win, the art times just walk away. Because let me tell you, showing off your power on the wrong time is far more dangerous than any type of sin. Now, as a believer, you don't even think about sin. There are many churches out there only talk about sin, 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 sin this, sin that. Sin is not the issue. 
showing your power in Christ. Too much to the wrong people? That's far, far more dangerous than any mistake you can, could ever make. I'm telling you, learn to keep yourself hidden from those who are not worthy to know who you are. I'm not telling you to become, mis to become mysterious. I'm not telling you to become a lo loner. I'm not telling you to be suspicious of everyone. I'm not telling you to isolate yourself. I'm just telling you, learn to keep yourself hidden from those who would only take advantage of you. Because this is what you need to learn. When people know that you are powerful, they will seek to take advantage of your power. They will seek for some way, I'm saying they will look for one way or the other to exploit you and to use you as a shield to build them out, out of bad consequences from their bad choices. And after they receive the bill out, they'll turn on you, they'll project all their trash on you and pretend as if they never knew you as if you never did anything for them. So beware with people who always ask to pray for them. There's nothing wrong with people asking you to pray for them. There's nothing wrong with that. But some people only ask you to pray for them because they want a bill out. They will use this, the power of your faith to build themselves out of negative consequences of their own self-destruction. And after they receive a bill out, they will leave you behind with all the damage and with all the trash. And they'll pretend as if they never knew you. Don't let that happen. Always agree with Christ and be at peace.